In this video, we are going to take a look at the various states of a process. So we know that a process is a program in execution. So when this process is executing, it will change its state. So there are a few states like the new. The new state means that the process is being created. So certain data structures are being created, certain resources are being assigned to the process. So this is the creation of the process. When the process is brought to the main memory for execution and it would be waiting for the CPU, then we say it is a in the ready state. The ready state means that the process is waiting to be assigned to a processor. Once a processor has been assigned to a particular process, then the process starts running. That means the instructions are being executed. So in the running state, the instructions of the process are being executed. During the execution, the process may have to wait for some event that is the wait state. And once it has finished, all instructions have been executed, then the process is terminated. So this diagram explains the different process states. Here is the new state and here is the time when the process is being created. It is admitted into the main memory and now it is put in a queue and it waits for the operating system to assign the processor to it. So we say that it is in the ready state. When the processor is ready and if it is assigned a CPU, that means it is dispatched for execution and we say it is in the running state. So from the ready, it has gone into the running state because a CPU has been allocated to it. While it was running, possibly some external device has sent an interrupt signal to the CPU. So the CPU needs to take care of that interrupt signal that has been received. So in case the process was running and an interrupt has been received, the process will go back from the running state to the ready state. So again it is waiting for CPU to be assigned to it. There is another possibility that the process was running and now it has to do some input output operation or it is waiting for some signal from other from any other process. So in that case, if it is waiting for any event to occur like an input output or waiting for a signal, it goes into the wait state. After that event is complete, now the wait of the process is over. So it goes back into the ready state and again it waits for the CPU to be assigned to it. When CPU is assigned, again it will go back to the running state. It will execute all instructions depending and during in the execution of the instructions, it may change state again. After it has executed all instructions, now it will exit and it will go in the terminate state. So now we say that the process has finished or the process has terminated.